before I start, I want to hand it over to Jan Arne and, and give a a uh, explanation of what JPEG 2000 is. I I actually first was introduced to JPEG 2000 around the 2002 time frame. I want to say uh, when I was working on a project that dealt with motion pictures and film, um, and I hadn't heard too much about it until uh, about a year ago when. When things uh, we started looking at this file format uh, specifically as a way to more efficiently manage file size, uh, so so give us a quick overview of what JPEG 2000 is and what it's meant for. Yeah, so this is a very interesting topic. It's um, uh, it is image format uh, among other things. Uh, it's uh, it was born in 2000, hence the name. Um, but uh, it says it, it, it says JPEG too, but it doesn't really have anything to do with the JPEG that we uh, know from from the web. Um, JPEG 2000 was meant to replace uh, the existing JPEG uh, standard, which was created in 1993, if I remember remember correctly. Um, but uh, apparently, or as we know and see on the web uh, today, this didn't happen or it hasn't happened uh, yet. Um, and why why is that really? Uh, JPEG 2000 is a is a superior format uh, on you know all fronts, almost all fronts compared to uh, compared to JPEG. Um, it has a lossless uh, compression. Uh, it supports transparency. Um, and uh, to uh, if you compare a JPEG file of 10k with a JPEG 2000 file of 10k, the JPEG 2000 file would have much much better uh, visual quality. Um, there are less visual artifacts on the image, um, and and uh, it also provides low latency, which is important for TV content, like you mentioned, uh, Ken. So there are you know, a lot, a lot of stuff that are very, very uh, good uh, with JPEG 2000. But I guess the the problem here is that it's uh, it's also very uh, advanced. It's impossible for a uh, for the average web developer to really uh, make use of JPEG 2000 the way it was meant to be. Um, with JPEG, in comparison, it's it's very easy. You can pull an image through Image Magic or Photoshop and click a few buttons, and, and the image is, is uh, usually OK. But with JPEG 2000, there are so many buttons and flip switches <laughs> and uh, variables to tweak, uh, depending on the uh, use case of the image, depending on the type of image, uh, what's in the image, the entropy of the image, and so on and so on. Uh, so, so it's uh, difficult to learn, and it's also difficult to uh, or you know, it, it's it's just time consuming, um, and uh, in addition to that, it, it's also more CPU intensive. So maybe back in the days when it was was first introduced, um, the browser vendors didn't want to introduce or include this uh, code base because it's a it's a completely new code base. It's not backwards compatible with JPEG. Uh, it's a completely new image format. And uh, maybe that was the reason why browsers didn't want to include this in um, in their browsers uh, back in the day because of the CPU usage and and um, you know additional code uh, uh, in the in their browsers. Now nowadays uh, there is really no uh, no excuse. And uh, uh, but so far it's still the only only browser supporting JPEG 2000 uh, on desktop. It was uh, included in. 2010 and uh, and uh, on mobile uh, iOS it was included in 2012, but still uh, there are not many JPEG 2000 images to see on the web. Um, uh, but uh, we chose to introduce or include this in um, in Image Engine, uh, which of course has Warfall sort of under the hood, which can help us. Identify the the safaris that uh, that support JPEG 2000, and um, so just, uh, just to, uh, yeah. to, to interrupt you. So uh, so Safari is about thirty per six six percent of the overall browser market, and uh, what we were looking to do was say see what sort of image optimization can occur. So Image Engine is 
a uh, image optimization uh, solution that that will make use of various file formats uh, to deliver a smaller payload to an end user. And you know, we wanted to see, okay, if we shifted from original JPEG to JPEG 2000, what would happen? Um, and, and so here, I'll, I'll let you go through the the good news here. Yeah, yeah. So uh, yeah, what would happen? You know, it's uh, of course we went through all the <laughs> all the you know don'ts, I guess, or the ways not to do it with JPEG 2000 because uh, in many cases an image is is uh, you know just ruined uh, from for no uh, reason really uh, when you don't know the the buttons to to turn. Uh, but once you figure out figure out all the variables to uh, to tweak, it's uh, it's a very very efficient format. Uh, and like we see on the chart here, um, if we have a, a original uh, JPEG file of uh, 50k, um, the JPEG optimized size uh, would be uh, close to 26k, uh, which is you know really well uh, optimized. This is state of the art image optimization. Um, it's very, very difficult to do better than that with uh, with a regular JPEG. But with uh, with JPEG 2000, this uh, this file is down to uh, almost 22k, which is uh, um, yeah 57 percent reduction compared to 49 uh, percent uh, reduction of, of JPEG. Uh, and this, uh, you know, doesn't, you know, maybe it doesn't sound much, but uh, but uh, you know, if your site has um, you know, uh, five hundred thousand images and you know, you serve uh, five terabytes per month, this uh, actually makes a, a huge deal. Right. Both uh, both for your end users who experience lighter images, but also in J for JPEG two thousand, in many many cases, better quality images than the uh, JPEG uh, alternative. Right. Um, yeah, and, and it's also probably worth mentioning that uh, when I say better quality, uh, JP2000 is capable of uh, sort of using uh, you know, different compression rates on different parts of the image, to put it simply. So, so the background may be more you know, blurred with, uh, with JP2000, while the details are, are uh, still um, crisp and, and sharp. With JPEG, you have sort of the same uh, same compression uh, with visible artifacts uh, all over uh, yeah, all, all over the image. So, so visually, JPEG 2000 is uh, is uh, by far superior to, to JPEG 2000. Uh, sorry, JPEG. So great, yeah, yeah. So this is a you know this is a a tool and a file format that uh, is going to be seen more and more, I think, in the image optimization field. Um, you know, if you can figure out the the right settings as Yannere put out there, um, it's really a, a powerful tool for delivering a smaller payload, a faster page load, and a better mobile user experience or or desktop user experience. Great.